G'day and welcome to my very first After Effects tutorial and I'm going to show you how to make this cool shine effect. Yeah, you can use it for a lot of stuff. And so, well, here we go. Alright, I'll create a new project. Radio. So we'll make a new composition by clicking this new composition button and just check the settings and I'm going to make the duration to 04 seconds click OK now I'm going to make a text layer first you can click on the text button to do this and go ahead and type your text or Could go to layer new text. Um, then you just type what you want. Uh, I'll just type shine. And then you just click on the arrow to get rid of the text options. And you can double click into it if you ever want to change anything in it. Like if you don't want it be like that. Just change the settings click the arrow to get out of it again. Now I'm just going to apply some effects to it. You can do what you want. Um, I'm just going to go effect, render, ramp. And this is going to create a nice ramp for us to work with. And there's some settings here. You can choose out of linear or radial. Radial will make it more of a circle coming out. Linear is just a straight line. I'm going to choose linear and I'll make ch change the colors. I'll make the first one, uh, let's see, make a nice orangey yellow. You can choose whatever you want though. And the other color, I'll make a nice brown. And there we go, that's our nice ramp right there. You can just play around with it to make it however you want it to do. Just go OK. And then now what we're going to do is we'll click on this shine. Click layer pre-compose. And make sure that you move all the attributes into new composition. Like that. And what's that? what that's going to do is make this one layer, but inside that, you can stick lots of layers in there and it'll show up as just one. And to open it up, you just hold down Alt and double click if you want to open it up into it. Now I'm going to click on the shine and click Control c to copy it, or Command c if you're on a Mac. And go back here and paste it with Control v or Command v and now I'll go back into this shine comp now I'm gonna make a new layer by clicking layer new solid and I'll make it black make sure you click make comp size click OK I'm gonna make an effect and I'll go render um, lens flare that gives us a nice lens flare, which we can work with. And now, before that, I'm going to change this mode. If that doesn't show up, yeah, you click down there, or you click F4. And then, I'm going to change this mode to screen. And that gets rid of all the black, and just sticks it over the top. Make sure that your black solid is over the top of the shine, so it is over it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to animate where this lens flare's center is, which is that little bit. And to animate it, you click on the little stopwatch next to it, and that will create some keyframes for where it is. To see those keyframes, you click on black solid, and you click U, and that will show up all the uh, things of it which has the stopwatch highlighted or the attributes of it and so as you can see we've got a nice keyframe there 
shows that we keyframed it to start with. And at the moment, it's not animating very much at all. So we'll just go a little bit into it. And then you can move it again, wherever you want it to go. Let's make it go there. And now it's made a new key keyframe. So what's that? what that's saying is I want it to be there at that time. And I want it to be there at that time. And then it will make it go through the middle so it moves towards those times. And then we'll just move a little bit longer in time. And then we'll make the center somewhere else. Or you can just move that to change it. So now we've got a nice animation of the lens flare moving. Now we'll just change something else. That's the brightness. So you click on the stopwatch again. Make sure you're at the start of the comp. And then just click U twice. So you can see that down there as well. So once again, we've made a nice stopwatch. And at this time, oh, a nice keyframe. And at this time, I want this keyframe to say 75. And then we'll move it along to say there make it say 150 which gives us a nice bright and then at the end I'll make it back down to 50 so now I've got a nice animation of brightness as well now you can also change the type of lens flare you get three to choose from but I'll just go with this one for now and you can just play around with stuff if you're not happy with it. No, I'll just move that down a bit. Just goes across the top of the letters. And yeah, so once you got that right, then we'll just exit that and go into our comp with both of them. Now what we're gonna do is make sure that our pre comp here with the lens flare is underneath the other one and then we're going to make that say track mat and we'll change that to an alpha mat what that's going to do is it's going to stencil out the shape of the top one the one just above it and in this case that's just the writing and here we've got the writing and the lens flare so now if we go through this it has a nice lens flare going over the top but you can't see the rest of it so that just makes a nice shine effect. So there you go, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope I'm not going too fast or too slow for you, I'm sorry if I am. And yeah, if you have any questions just leave a comment. And yeah, with this effect you can use it for so much stuff, like it's not very limited at all. Uh, this is just showing you an idea that you can use it for. and use it track matting and stuff or anything that you want so yeah just use your imagination and the sky's the limit uh, thank you this is 